Hello everyone, welcome back to Hush Hush, Juju and Shay. I'm Shay. I'm Juju. And today's episode, we are speaking of intuition mm -hmm. and truly listening to your intuition and don't disregard it um, in life. I think we had a whole conversation on how intuition is powerful and it's a, it's a true gift for us. Right? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. Just to follow your heart and your intuition when your when your body and spirit and mind tells you. Mm -hmm. Your gut. Also, there's gut um, activity going on. They say that's the second brain in the body, and I'm just learning about that. And I'm like, there's so much that we weren't told, and that's why we're here to understand it and regurgitate it to y'all. And hopefully, y'all be knowing too, and y'all can tell us stuff we don't know. But yes. yeah, intuition for sure. Intuition over. I guess this is an extension of content. It is. Of the content conversation. Because yeah. you use your intuition to decipher the content that you want to have and reject, accept and reject in your life. So, right. Yeah. Okay, so intuition we use to decipher what we should be consuming or not consuming. Um, that tingling gut feeling, I guess we could start with a basic definition of intuition, at least how I understand it, and, and then... You say what you feel about mm -hmm. it, what your experience is, right. is about it. Um, that gut feeling that you get when, in my experience, more times it's like something that you should be getting, like a situation that you should be avoiding. It's something that uh, is unsavory and not fruitful. You get that little like, I, it's nausea, nausea or anxiety or it manifests in different people. But it's like some, your body or God or universe or whatever is saying something ain't right. So... Avoid, And it's not like you're running away from, it's not that you're a coward, it's right. that if there's a fork in the road and there's bumper to bumper traffic on the right and it's, it looks like it's more clear on the left, you're going to go with the left. You're right. going to go with something that's less uh, cumbersome. Right. I don't know, that's my experience. No, you, you, know? you explained it perfectly, I feel like. I feel like it's the same thing. I feel like uh, your intuition is just like this little voice inside your head telling you, this don't feel right. Or even not a voice inside your head, just a feeling. Like, you know when the little hairs in the back of your neck can stand up? When you feel right. something is not right. When you can walk into a room and you can literally feel the energy is off, that's your intuition telling you, hey, the energy is off. Mm -hmm. And we are all energy and everything is aligned. So I feel like energy, magnetics, we get those feelings and that that goosebumps and this is why we get goosebumps and this is why we get the hairs in the back of our neck stand up and this is why we get little feelings like tingling feelings like you were saying right. because if you feel something is off that's clearly your intuition telling you hey something is off mm -hmm. listen to it mm -hmm. listen to it yes and beware if you don't I, right. I've, I've told you all the time and you know, people who most people who know me I think I've said it ad nauseum at least I've said it repeatedly that uh, <laughs> you know I've four out of five times, it may be nine out of ten, but definitely four out of five times when I don't, four out of five times my intuition is sound. It's correct. It, you know, I'm in tune with the energies that are that um, are communicating with me. That one out of five times when I disregard it for whatever reason, uh, I regret it. Yeah, and I regret too, it girl. in a me royally <laughs> way. And I remember the regret. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's, um, it's an intense regret. Then you learn from it so that it do, you don't repeat it. Right. Don't repeat the shit. Right. You know, don't have egg on your face for the fourth time. Fourth time. You know, <laughs> for however many times. Come on. You know. But um, just to, so, I guess it, I, I take life as I'm always a student. I'm a philosopher. So I love, a lover of wisdom, literally. So if you're open to, if you're lucky enough to live long enough and you're open-minded enough, then you can, then life will teach you how to live it. Absolutely. And it's about... You know, like your will, like we have, we all have will and ego and all of that, but I feel like it's more about negotiating your will with the will of the universe. And then not even that, because then you get to a point where after you're through that, that ego shit, it's more like I am universe. Right. So it's, it's, it's not a reconciliation as much as a, what do you call it? Like a release. It's like right. your, res it's a resignation because you realize that there's no separation. I don't separate these things. Right. I think everything's interconnected. Absolutely. But intuition informed me of this, you know. Right. You know. Right. Um, and I, I, I want to yeah. talk more into trusting your intuition regarding to people. Mm -hmm. um, because we were talking about this earlier as well. Like, there's many a times mm. when my intuition say, girl, mm -mm, mm -hmm. this person ain't right for you. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Relationship, friendship. 
etc. Like the intuition is saying, like as soon as I meet people, mm -hmm. I know from a connection if the connection is good from real or not. Mm -hmm. First day, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes my intuition is saying no, this is not organically. You're not organically connected to this person. Mm -hmm. Be cordial and don't try to make a friendship or make something more. And what do my stupid behind do? Or stupid in that situation. Huh. Like, I call me stupid. But I go... Overly and gracious. I, I, I try. <laughs> no, overly but, gracious. No, but yeah, I, I feel you. I, feel I you. try and, and force things mm. that my intuition say, no, bitch, it's not there. Stop trying to force things. Mm -hmm. Stop trying to give people the benefit of the doubt. When your intuition say, this person is not right for you, listen. Mm. Because... Every time I didn't listen, like you said, it ended up in a shit show. Mm -hmm. So now I listen. Mm -hmm. Like, uh-uh. Nope. Nope. With Eric Mays. If you don't know Ooh. Eric Mays, nope. If y'all yeah, don't yeah. know him, yeah, yep. check him out. Yeah, get somebody else. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That, that's going to be a thumbs that's down. Right. It's just right. going to No, it's true. It's true. What do you think These are that? guttural, instinctive reactions and responses i guess reaction is less um contemplated like a response you sit on and you meditate on and it's more um, put together there's more organization to it but reaction i guess it has to do with the more primal aspect that that we live in but you know we're still animals so i guess reaction but intuition i think informs all of these things intuition is reaction and response and i I feel like intuition equals God as well. Again, I use this in the most broadest, in the the broadest of senses. Like I don't mean um, religiously, but the energy that animates things, uh, universe. Let's say energy or source or universe. Um, intuition is source. Like just, I can recall countless uh, job. Well, more than I care to count. That's why the countless. Uh, the jobs that I've had, the, the menial jobs. We'll get, we'll have this conversation when we are both equipped mentally to have it because it's a very, <laughs> this thing could take five episodes, y'all. Right. But the fact of um, giving your energy, uh, the last post that we posted, uh, not the last post, but one of the last ones, that said that accomplishment is socially determined by ill-informed uh, metrics, basically. I'm paraphrasing, but it's like, even that, like the systems are built for destructiveness. It's not built for creation and creativity and positivity and uplift. So anyway, my but th this has a point, I swear. <laughs> I was working at, I was working at one of those traditional jobs or as I call like slave labor jobs. And uh, well, uh, this probably goes for most of them. It's a common factor in all of them. Um, I intuited, like, just, the interview is fine because you don't know very much about, you know, you know what you tell based on, like, first interaction. Right. But you don't know, like, the inner go the inner workings of the establishment right. until you do. Right. So I, it didn't take me very long to find out that, like, their philosophy and what they said they appreciated and what they upheld and the principles. And, like, we love everyone. We didn't say we love, but we respect everyone's right to to individuality and we expect um, a certain merit and we, and no one should be disrespected these things were not upheld i upheld them but the systems so, that be didn't upheld did them. you did you feel that it wasn't right as soon as you walked through well okay for the interview i always i always get anxious because cap capitalism nervouses me <laughs> as new york would say like the the system as it practiced in this country is not really beneficial to like any life form really <laughs> and then we it negatively affects other people but i always have anxious anxiety period okay. just approaching those kinds of situations but i i'm an extroverted introvert so i can i can and i have all these leos in my chart so i can like i can hack it but it's the it's like the first day on the job slash second day on the Jitters. job wait when you get per people's egos and personalities like you, you pick up on it and then I don't know like in an effort to I, I'm an inquisitive person if I don't the way I understand things it helps me to know the why I'm also a philo philosopher like we discussed so my first question is always why is this going on that helps me to better execute the solution or or try to troubleshoot it so we get to a solution better 
I think that's a lot of people. I don't think I'm alone. Like, uh, understanding something is, is uh, the best way to troubleshoot it. Understanding why it's not working right. or understanding what is going on right. can help you better to anticipate things that might go not so, not so well. Anyway, I found out that these, the, these people didn't uphold their principles. And I'm like, well, I, but you got to work. And you gotta pay the bills and, sh and, and also what is bills because we're the only animals that like pay to live to inhabit and like drink water and eat food and shit uh, that's another story but the politics that go involved with it because these are cuz a lot of these jobs are customer service a lot of my jobs are customer service you have to put on a nice face you have to act like these things aren't going on you have to portray that they're not going on and then still get this check that totally devalues you because you're so much more worth you're so much we are worth so much more than what they're divvying out to you for your expenditure of energy, time, etc. Right. Uh, intellectual property, all of these things. Um, so I did, I, to answer your question, because that was kind of a, a monologue, my bad. <laughs> I did, though. I intuited that. I'm I so intuited so it. Was, it, was, it, was a, it, wasn't, it didn't feel good. But you, do you pick up the, you know, you put on a strong face and yes. you do what you got to do. But my cancer moon was dying like slowly so I had to say I had to use that energy and try to alchemize it without like you know before I met my demise right. literally and figuratively y'all right. know I use hyperbole but like I'm this is kind of literal too right. yeah right. did have you had any um... I feel like that our our body tells us you know like you said when things aren't right that's a part of intuition mm. um I remember working at a place and literally every day before I went in my stomach starts to get so upset mm -hmm. and like I was like if if my body is telling me every morning that this place is not right then this place is not right you know so I I didn't listen I kept going and it was just every day I'm like okay so I can't do this anymore mm -hmm. I had to get out of there it mm -hmm. was a toxic workplace environment mm -hmm. um not more so, well, a little bit with management, mm. but more so with the customers. It was customer service as well. Right. Um, but more so with the customers, like every day it was something, it was a problem, it was a stressful work environment. Then you're working with people health on top of that. I was a pharmacist technician. So when you work with people health on top of that and medication and You have to and be that, technically perfect. Oh my God, you had to be perfect. And you're the messenger at the end of the day because you're relaying the message between the pharmacist, the insurance company, to the customer. So you so got it tripled. So you're that all that wrath. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that nervousness was like, I remember I used to work out every day like literally work out every day mm. and I remember going to the to the doctor because I had pains in my chest mm. and he couldn't figure out what it was he was like do you suffer from anxiety and I'm like I don't think so but then I'm like when I think about it it was anxiety because I was working because mm. after work I used to go work out I was working every single day day and I was enduring this stomach pain and I was being so anxious I did not want to go in work but I did it anyway and you weren't releasing it and you I was not releasing it, it. I mm. was storing it mm -hmm. then on top Getting of that right yep. and then on top of that you know having the chest pain mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew I was like no mm -hmm. this ain't for me and, and also I feel like, like you were saying a little bit, you have to be mindful about what situations you're putting yourself into. If you want to live in peace, mind, body, and spirit, you have to be mindful of who's around you, what situations you're putting yourself into. And once you're mindful, I feel like your intuition works for you mm -hmm. effortlessly. Yes. And you listen to it because you're mindful in the situation. What is my body telling me right now? What is my mind telling me right now? What is my spirit telling me right now? Mm -hmm. When you're mindful enough to question these things, mm. you can get out of shit fast. That's yes. what I mean. You Amen. can get out fast. Yes. yes. And that's the point. I think that's the point. We get we get slower with time. But the, the physical body is not faster. So let's let's act smart, not hard. Right. So you were so you were talking about <clears throat> having mostly uh, adverse. Um, responses with customers right i've had like a handful of the customers ironically or maybe not i don't know the problem with 
and I intuit that I intuited this too. The problem that I had, or the, the problem that people had with me, weren't the clients or the customers or the patients. It was more from the managers. Mm. And in retrospect, and it's been confirmed by like several other people who witnessed it. I'm thinking it's again like a la like you know referencing last conversation we had or like a few episodes ago. Is your light too intimidating? When you're in tune with your intuition, your light can be intimidating. Like th that goes hand in hand. Right. Light is more radiant when you're in tune with intuition, right. with God, with source, with energy. Right. So I was just going around doing my job. Well, I do work harder than what I'm like. Well, if they tell me to do something, I do a little more extra because that's just what I'm inclined to do. But I'm also gregarious and people like me. And they didn't really like all the managers. I mean, in the manager's defense, like the, the job is set up so that you're calling people out and, you know, you're kind of put there to, to be the bad guy in a sense. Right. But there's a way to, there's some villains you like and some villains you just, you just can't fuck That's with. So, so, and whether I'm a villain or not in some people's eyes, I'm usually likable. I just said that. Go what? ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I just no, said that. I did a whole TikTok Take it on this. Yes. I said, no matter how good you are to people, mm. no matter how good you treat somebody or you are in general, you are going to be the villain in somebody's story. Mm -hmm. I and, did see it. Yes. 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 You are going to be the villain in somebody's story. And you just have to be comfortable with that story. Because it's not your business at the end of the day. It's what they think of you it's and how what, they can see you. How they perceive you yeah. and yeah. what their experience is. is their right. experience. Yes, it is. That's had nothing to do with you. And I had to learn that over the years that... I'm not to get off topic and be on a tangent, but I have to be That's comfortable. What we're here for. <laughs> yeah. I have to be comfortable with being a villain in somebody else's story. That's mm -hmm. just what it is. Right. I can't question it anymore and I don't give a fuck anymore. Excuse my language, but that's just how it is. No excuse necessary. <laughs> this is unadulterated. This is the same right. space that we curate. It's it's it is for us, but it's also when I say uh, when I say myself, I, I mean the collective we as well, right. unless I set, uh, stipulate otherwise. But it's true. It's very important, like you said, and then the the advice or the the tools to use through the bullshit would be to be aware of your surroundings in the first place mm -hmm. because you usually have an idea of the energy that's animating the vessels around you right. energy is not it, it doesn't have come in a spoken language it's a feeling and it's it you that see part. We, yes. we have conversations and we have episodes about yes. this, but it is hard to articulate. It's easier to feel than to express in spoken language. We get at it as much as we're artists, so we try to get at those things that are harder right. to express. But um, And we do our best. And I think we do a damn good job, if I must say. <laughs> um, <laughs> and everybody but, has intuition. Everybody the, right. has it. Correct. Some people are just more blinded to it, and some people are more open to it. And some people's 50-50. You know, like I was 50-50 back in the day. Um, you know, I listened to it sometimes, like we were discussing, and then I didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, I was mm -hmm. blinded to it. Right. So it's just, like you said, being in tune. Mm -hmm. Being in tune and giving yourself a chance to have an off day. And um, even if, and if you, and that, you know, four out of five times your intuition's right and the one time it's wrong, if you have that one time in five, don't be so hard on yourself, just, but learn from it because it doesn't feel good to repeat the same stuff, especially if it's painful. Like, you know, we talked about this. I think our first episode was learning from positive versus negative experiences, which is understanding that you don't need to attract negativity to learn from it. Uh, naturally, we, or I don't know if it's natural, but usually we learn more from the things that feel uncomfortable because we want to be uncomfortable as we want to be comfortable as quickly as possible we want to get out of that discomfort as quickly as possible so we, we we make moves to alleviate our situation but we don't need to have those things we don't right. need to undergo suffering to progress and to be enlightened and to experience success and comfort and happiness and all those things right. so I think again that comes with being in tune with your tu intuition. The more in tuned you are with y the inner you, like which is everyone else and everything and God happening all at once and all of that, the less you have to 
mitigate things that happen that are less savory for you. Right. You know, in right. the first place. And then I feel like universe is always trying to say, don't do that. I told you before, but you might have forgotten. Or you might be a little too drunk or you might be a little too burnt out or whatever. Because burnout and like uh, recovery of drugs, I feel like have the same effect. Right. Like you can, people are addicted to overwork or to whatever gets them burnt out. And I feel like whatever drug you use uh, fills the same void. Right. you know and then addiction comes in all forms and all that so just to be in tune with the intuition the more in tune that was with my intuition the more um the less of a need i felt to fill the void so right. to speak yeah right and i feel like your know, life would be so much peaceful too when you listen when you actually listen to yourself That's perfect peace. yeah in, in perfect peace when you actually listen to yourself because then the universe doesn't have to give you that push or mm -hmm. that nudge. Mm -hmm. Because since, since you ignore your intuition, now the universe is going to put another obstacle in your way to be like, hey, you didn't listen to yourself, so now I'm going to make you listen. So it's like, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition. And and like you said, the, the negative and positive experiences, if you did have negative experiences, learn from it and do not make the same mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's no fun to keep doing the same shit over and over again, and then, and then one one it's definition. Insanity. It, it, that's what I was gonna say. One at least one definition of mm -hmm. insanity is that you know. I think there's, and then we can also discuss this later. There's there's a difference between Webster's dictionary and the law, the legal dictionary. So and like they're so fucking like there there's nuanced differences, right. but they're so different. So I'm using my intuition to channel and differentiate between these things. And I'm, I'm as I learn, I'm, I'm sharing it with everybody. Right. And please improve on my um, education if y'all see fit, you know? But um, yeah, I just, I just, hmm. I can't stress enough that when I went against my intuition those few times, those few times I regretted it. And I couldn't have, I didn't have anyone else to blame. It was self-doubt and it was, I was farther away from myself than I, I was further away from myself than I should have been. So, right. and and to help you, if you don't know how to listen to it, because some people just don't know how, or sometimes it's common knowledge, and sometimes it's not. Everything is not so common, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're born with the fact that hey, I have to listen to my gut. Sometimes we're not. Right. If you don't know when a situation is not for you, meditate on it, pray on it, journal, and and with journaling, you can if you journal out your day and your problems and your issues, you can actually look at it and say, oh. So my issues is coming from this person or this situation is making me feel like this. So you can actually look on it and reflect mm -hmm. and that will open and broaden your eyes more to open up your intuition if you don't know how to you know, be in tune Access with it, right? right? And date it because I, I find it helpful to look at the dates and to realize and to just to appreciate the progress I've made from point A to point B or just to, if it wasn't progress that I think of as progress, then at least to have an, um, an account. Right. of like you know like a log of what i've done uh, i i like that idea yeah to, to journal and to manifest yeah well that concludes this episode of hush hush taboo talks with juju and shay yes. shay and juju gosh darn it i know it's okay it's i mean it doesn't matter shay and juju tomato tomato Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll be tomato. We'll be english today. Oh boy. No. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you for you intuiting. Guys to listen and uh, let us know your experiences with intuition, sneaking feelings that come up when you've been right, when you've been wrong. Um, hush underscore hush underscore podcast on IG yes. is our IG handle right here on YouTube, Spotify. You can reach out. And also give us some recommendation in the comments. We see you. We love our new um, subscribers, our new listeners. Thank you guys. We're so grateful for you. Thank give you, us some yes. recommendations and we'll let you know if we go to do an episode. We definitely will. I, we see y'all. We see the comments. We just yes. take a minute because we do have other things going on. We take a minute to respond, but we try to personally respond to every single one. So bear with us, y'all. Yes. Thank you. And namaste. Thank you. Bye-bye.